What is up lads, it is the Midnight Kid and yes, I'm finally back bringing you some Pez 2019 content. We're going to take a look at some El Clasico action today using the Pez Universe option file V1 of course. Sergio Ramos looking like an absolute beast coming out of the tunnel and Varane as well. The kits, I mean the kits this year lads, they're just a step up in quality. I mean the boys have spent double the amount of time than they did last year and it really does show I mean especially with the new lighting system as you see when it goes kind of from the dark and the shadows to like out in the Sun you'll see it there just to the shine off the kits it looks so natural so realistic and I definitely think these are the best kits I've ever seen in a Pez game they're phenomenal so get downloading on PezUniverse.com link in the description below now obviously people will say that the uh, transfers and that still haven't been done obviously we don't you know we don't control the option file doesn't control the transfers that is coming on thursday it is now the 29th of august so once the servers go online the 30th worldwide release day you will have ronaldo at juventus you will have iniesta gone from barcelona you'll see in a second that iniesta is still at barcelona so that's not controlled by the option file and with v1 we have left a lot of the managers out the pictures and stuff and we've left obviously the transfers the way that konami are going to fix them on thursday so once that happens we're going to have an update file out by the weekend for gold members and as i said as well this the option file can be downloaded it's available now for gold members on the site it will be coming later tonight i think i think tonight yeah it could be late late tonight when we update it because it does take a lot of time to update the hubs and stuff but it will be coming tonight i think for silver members and then obviously for bronze members which is free it will be coming to the hub when we have a gold and silver sorted and when the game is actually out proper within a day or two so that's pretty much the plan but we're going to kick off here with real madrid just spreading the ball around i am of course playing as real madrid using a custom camera angle i think it's like 0 110 or something like that dynamic wide or something like that dynamic custom or it could be pitch view pitch side and we get off to the best start possible now you're going to see a lot of goals like this if you follow my master league season because i am going to be bringing back richard the lionheart hearty who i have a bit of a love hate relationship with he will be signing for my club and i will be starting with a skybet championship team obviously you know big zombie monkey did a phenomenal job on the skybet teams so i will be choosing that league to start with but i also will be bringing a special series master league as well which you can get more information on probably this time next week um so yeah it's going to be fun and i will probably be live streaming my club as well i'm going to be doing a lot of different stuff this year on my channel and probably live stream in my club and a couple of online stuff and i might uh, i might stream a couple of a couple of games against my brother as well uh just to have a bit of crack because we do have some epic games and to be honest lads i'm really enjoying the skills look at this from isco i can't really speak lads i'm getting really tongue-tied so we start off with the no look pass from modric gives it out to bale one touch pass from bale with the right foot lovely little zip on it and as you can see the kits look phenomenal but look at this from isco oh my god absolutely destroys the big spaniard that is pk and uh yeah i'm loving the skills this year obviously i did a skills tutorial with whedon's and he kind of actually really helped me to do the skills and show me the skills and learn when to do them and when not to do them because back in like pez 14 i was an absolute madman with the skills i used to do them all the time and i was actually quite good at them and then i kind of slowly stopped using them because uh the game kind of changed a little bit and it just didn't really suit my play style i'm more of a kind of a wingman really direct on the wings don't do a lot of crosses i do a lot of overlaps and touches and touching goals a lot of the time as well but um this year the skills you know they're so fluid they make a difference when you are trying to catch a defender you know off guard or whatever so i am going to be throwing some absolute crazy skills over the next couple of videos that i will be throwing up here i'll probably bring a skybet championship video next a little bit of a local derby or something like that um but i'm just playing the game and i'm really enjoying it i'm really enjoying you know my content that's going to be coming out this year um it's absolutely roasting in this room where i'm recording but fuck it i'll just have to take off my clothes but it doesn't make a difference to me so we're going to just continue on with this gameplay and they get a goal back it's a nice little finish from messi and a little thing i will say lads i probably will start on top player in my master league and reason being is i found after playing a couple of games against superstar and stuff superstar kind of sit back a little bit when they go a goal up or whatever it's not as end to end it's not as natural i think as playing um on top player and i just find that because i don't really 
like close out games if I score a goal I want to get a second goal if I score two I want to get three that's just the way I always play uh, and I probably win a lot more matches online if I wasn't like that if I just shut up shop and kept the ball or whatever but I kind of mix between you know possession play and of course just kind of fast breaks and counter attacks and stuff um, but I am predominantly a possession player waiting for the proper ball to go through but you'll notice at the end of this video and even here it doesn't seem as like on rails this year and this is something that I touched on over at E3 and I'm glad to say that when I picked up the pad and played this game proper, the retail version of it, and I've had it a bit now, I actually didn't feel that much of a difference from E3. So I think Konami are finally realizing that when they put out a game and people like it, don't change it. Rather than put it out, people are, you know, raving about it and then you change it. But it just feels a lot more organic. You know, it feels like the build up play, everything is a lot more organic. Yeah, I mean the computer and the AI will still go down the wings and they'll do their little overlaps and they mightn't make the direct pass like a human opponent would make all the time but it does feel a lot more natural and especially with the way that they've brought in fatigue over a might club or over a master league season it is going to make a difference because you're going to have players that are just strictly flair players like the likes of uh you know maybe Mane or Mo Salah well Mane is a bit of a beast but maybe the likes of Aryan Robin for Bayern Munich or something that he's just going to be absolutely wrecked you know absolutely wrecked you know come 70 minutes if you're playing him like you would have played him in PES 2018 so that is another layer of I suppose skill gap being introduced into PES and I really like it I think they need to double down it next year obviously I will be doing feedback and giving all the feedback that I can back but we're going to bring on Asensio I'm not really talking about the gameplay to be honest if you might mm, have noticed but I'm just going to be talking absolute shite and you'll find a lot of me talking an absolute shite on my channel and for Master League of my club as I said, I probably will be streaming my club, so that should be a bit of fun with a face cam, hopefully, if you want to see my ugly mug. And we could just have the crack. I mean, obviously, I try to do something different, a bit of unique, a bit of craziness going on. And uh, I get very cross at the game, to be honest. I love playing it, but I do get tick. I get pissed off. And I can't hide it. I can't stay professional. And I just fucking lose the rag. So that should be a bit of crack. But, uh, yeah, I really enjoy it, man. I think it's going to be a good year. Uh, obviously, the servers and stuff will be the real test of my club but to be honest I mean since I upgraded my internet last year I think I went from like a 6 meg connection to like 150 meg now that I'm on and I've got like 50 up as well I literally have had very few games where I've got um, disconnects now maybe that's because I'm not beating players left right and center because I you know I've, I've lost a lot of games on PES 2018 I think I'm better at PES 2019 um, I think that I will be better look at that for a spread oh my god pure 100% Irish butter to Gareth Bale and of course he fucks it up as usual but I like Bale in this year's game and he has that little bit of pace uh, that was kind of you know the players that the good players seem to have that little killer instinct this year that they didn't have last year as much as like maybe Ronaldo and Aguero had it but a lot of the players have it this year which is fun so that is pretty much it lads El Clasico Real Madrid versus Barcelona you can download the option file on PezUniverse.com early access for gold members is now up and running and uh, yeah I have a, f a FAQ on the site as well and I also have an installation tutorial so check that out but let me know in the comments below what Master League team you'd like me to play with and any other questions, get in touch. Alright boys, peace!